Good evening. I have driven about 150, 200 miles up to Morpeth in Northumberland um, for a 10 pm start for Dax. I just want to show you a product that I really love. So, you know, I've got quad lock for my bike and I've got one for my van. And let me show you this. I, honestly, this is so good for like when you drive into um, like an event engine on so that is the quad lock um it attaches just like a normal i guess mount for your phone but then it's like you can see that excuse the dirtiness in my car and then and then it's charging so when we set off i'm not going to have like a half eaten battery and i used to have one that used to go into like the air vents and got it used to just drop off all the time it was too low down not ideal and that is just a really really good thing she's like pre-order Evening, five to ten, and there's a few of us here. All waiting to ride into the night together. Right, let's go. Thank you. Got a 305k to ride. Let's do it. You can't see me, but it's quarter. It's really, really windy as well. It's quarter two in the morning. We've just had to stop for a chamois cream stop. Yesterday I wore some really tight like yoga shorts and they basically rubbed me up the wrong bloody way and I'm really sore. So it's not like a saddle sore, it's just kind of like, oh, it just seems very uncomfortable. And then, <laughs> then as we set back off, Tony's putting a chamois cream on and all and his bloody chain come off and got stuck and I'm like, it's quarter to two in the morning, what are we doing? Better. Uh, I don't know how you're growing. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. It'll be fine. I'm trying to think if I can get a plaster. But yeah, they just I'm just really sore. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Caffeine pills. It's two in the morning. <laughs> what can I do? You could bail. I'm not bailing. Dress him. Hmm. You see that or, or a foil blanket? Shall I just try it? You can try it. It's just crossed over into Scotland. So yeah, this route is basically a big circular route. It starts in Morpeth, Northumberland, and just basically goes up into Scotland and then loops back through Kielder and then back around to Morpeth. Oh! oh. It's really early in the morning. It's probably like half four. I just need to stop and have five minutes just with my eyes closed. The sun has come up and but we're about halfway. Well, coming up to halfway. We'll get around. But of all the, the big rides I've done and this one was I just thought, oh it'll be tough because it's through the night. I didn't think I'd get pain like I have got, but yeah. no moaning, not complaining. The weather's nice and uh, I've got food in my bag, so all good. It's so beautiful and I just can't enjoy it because I'm in so much pain. Jesus Christ, it's going from bad to worse, honestly. So, not only was I a little bit tired, like honestly, the pain, like it hurts to pee, it just stings. It's honestly, this is probably too much information, but you know that I'm honest with you, but it just, it's so sore. Like I'm trying to ride everything out of the saddle um, and we've got 95K left and I don't think there's a, tra I don't think there's a train here, is there? And it's not the saddle, I've done loads of stuff on it. And it's, it is my old bike as well. It's not the new bike, so I'll explain that in another video. But in short, Phil basically said for long stuff, in, like right now before I've got a big event coming up, is like just use the old stuff, the old setup, because you don't want any niggles. And I'm like, oh, well, what's this then? You enjoying it though? It's cracking, yeah. cracking. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Fantastic ride. No issues. Nothing. Brilliant. I'll take a leaf out of my book at some stage. You always have a sore ass. I know. You, every <laughs> not, time. No, not now. Like we all. Not now. We've, the tables have turned. 
Thank you for that. What are you going to do with that bit? <laughs> do one. Cheer me up for the last 100k, well 95. I'm clutching at straws here. <laughs> I want to make it as short as possible. We're going to play some music. See, quad lock. Amazing. Yeah, I've perked up the music and the good views have helped. Still in a little bit of pain, but it's all good. I think we've got like 70k or so. Look oh, how beautiful this is. Toothbrush time. Oh, it's half past 11 in the morning. Oops, that's my bandage. Oh, they're half of it. I need to readjust it. Out of the saddle still. 100k out of the saddle. Does that go with a prize? <laughs> Pretty though, isn't it? Hi, GB. Hi, Lammy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we are back almost where we started. 306 kilometres. Let's get these shorts and bandage off. So the route was actually really really pretty and i wish i could have enjoyed it a little bit more apart from the pain um so i'm gonna have a quick kip um and then probably just go and put some pseudocreme on <laughs> i don't know why i've like i really hope i've not like ruined the not ruined the video but put like a, a like not even a sad spin but just like a mardi spin but i i want to show you like when i'm not absolutely like loving every minute like there was so many times in that like i absolutely loved it but it's painful and so if any of you are like struggling with saddle pain and stuff like i completely sympathize i mean i did before but even more now also i will do a video of the light set up because the lighting set up for it was just sleep wise i had i think i slept for three lots of like maybe 10 minutes um, and it's weird how much difference that makes. I don't know how people go th go through the night and like don't have any sleep. Um, but for me, like I definitely needed to have like a couple of little naps. And afterwards, you just feel like it's so weird. You just feel like really refreshed and like right, let's go. Any questions? Leave them in the comments. Okay, goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. I'm just editing this video. I just want to add that I don't recommend anybody ride in pain. But I think for this particular loop. There was no easy way of getting a train back, for example. So I was like, oh, and because I was with Darren, I felt quite safe. So I was like, oh, it'll be fine. Um, and the cause of it, I'm just trying to work out like what actually caused it because I've ridden that setup so, so much that I think it's one of two things. And hopefully you can learn from this and not have the same scenario and the same pain. So the first thing on the new bike, I rode it maybe once or tw maybe just once actually with the saddle that it was too high. And yeah, that can potentially cause a bit of aggravation. So always make sure you know where your saddle height is. And yeah, that's the one thing. And the other thing is those bloody shorts. <laughs> like I think they just, they just had like a really thick seam. They were really expensive, like yoga shorts as well. But anyway, so I hope you can learn from that. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm sorry it's not like necessarily like a really, like fun, happy video. But as I said earlier, like I, I feel like I need to show, cause part of me was like, do I even upload this? When I was watching it back, I was like, God, I'm just moaning. But I do want to show that it's not always amazing hills, amazing climbs and amazing rides. Sometimes it is a bit tough. So yeah, see you all next video. Yeah. You know, you know? Yeah. Oh. Ouchies. No! Oh, for God's sake. Don't be disgusting. I'm gonna put that in.